If you're someone who's a new PS5 user, then this is one of the biggest questions that you might have. How do you correctly enable 120 hertz on PlayStation 5, and how do you even know if it's working properly? Because there are certain settings that you need to change on your PS5 to activate the 120 hertz frame rate. And what most PS5 users don't know is that you could have to manually change this setting on your gaming TV or monitor as well in order for this feature to work correctly. So in this video, I'm going to show you some basic tips and tricks for new users to successfully enable 120 hertz on the PS5. Step one is check your TV or monitor to see if it has a special HDMI port for 120 hertz. One of the biggest reasons that you could be experiencing issues with this feature is if your PS5 is plugged into the wrong HDMI port. You always want to check your TV or monitor's user guide to see what HDMI ports will support the 120 hertz refresh rate. Once your PS5 is connected using a high speed HDMI cable, it's time to power it on and change some settings. First, go to your PS5's video output settings and make sure that enable 120 hertz output is set to automatic. Then go to your default game and app settings and make sure your game presets are set to performance mode. Next, you want to go to your video output information and make sure that 120 hertz is listed as a compatible frequency. If it's not listed in the compatible output frequency, then it could be that your TV or monitor either doesn't support 120 hertz over HDMI or that there's a certain setting on your TV that you need to change first. Now, every TV and monitor is different, so I always recommend checking the user guide if you're not sure what settings you need to change. But for the example in this video, I will be showing you how I activate 120 hertz on my Sony gaming television. In the channels and input settings, I select external inputs, HDMI signal format, HDMI 4, which is the input my PS5 is connected to, and change it from standard to enhanced. I can also change this setting to enhanced VRR once the feature is supported on the PS5. But for now, I'll just be leaving it on enhanced format. And that's it. You can now begin playing your 120 hertz compatible PS5 games and the feature should automatically enable when supported. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and you found it useful or at least interesting. And if you did, make sure to leave a like rating on the video, comment below to let me know what you think. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell for post notifications. I'll see you guys next week. Peace.